Ow, how dare you punch me? Ooh, that was good. Oh my, what? I'm still alive, baby. I don't know about you though. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but today we join the dark side of Brawlhalla. I'm talking about playing Taros. <laughs> How's it going everybody? Lucian Sword here. Hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. It's been over a year now since I last made my Taros video, so we're going to go ahead and make another Taros dedicated video. And I say joining the dark side of Brawlhalla just because Taros <laughs> kind of has a reputation for being that legend that just absolutely destroys everyone. And some people might even say takes no skill. Now, I don't know where you guys stand on that, so go ahead and let me know in the comments whether you think Taros is a good balanced legend, or do you think Taros takes no skill and people typically just pick him to get easy wins or something like that. I I personally, I think he obviously does take some skill, but you know, hammer and axe are both two really good weapons, and if you know how to use them, it can be quite overwhelming. Now, personally, I don't play Taros that much. I do have black colors, obviously, but I also have black colors for every legend in the game. So that doesn't really mean that I play the legend a lot. And we're going against another strong man, and that is Zul, baby. Zul is a super strong legend, has up to 10 strength. Oh my goodness, I missed that. No! Now, Taros is pretty much my nemesis. Usually, like, when I'm playing, I, I tend to get destroyed when I'm going against the Taros. Uh, I don't know if it's just the intimidation factor or if he's really that good. I think it's a little bit of both, to be honest. Oh, nice neutral sig there. Bro, with the neutral sig again? Stop it. Stop. Yeah, that's what you get. I got powerful sigs too. And then everybody's favorite sig, the axe neutral, right? Axe neutral sig. Yeah, everybody loves that one. <laughs> Except when you're at the receiving end, right? Oh my goodness. The dark side of Brahala calls to me. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> GG, dude. GG. Well played, though. No offense, but Taros is the original bully. Zul, not so much. All right, so. That was Rift Dweller Taros in black colors, but I do have a lot of other Taros skins that we can use. This is Wreck the Halls Taros, and this one was actually brought out for the first time uh, during the Winter Holiday event. Like, literally one of the very first... Actually, I think it was the first Winter Holiday event. This was one of the exclusive skins, so this is going way back, like, four or five years when this skin came out. But it's still a really cool skin, in my opinion. Not as scary looking, perhaps, as some of the other Taros skins. But you're still Taro, so you still got all that power. All right, we're going against Blue Ice. This guy's actually really good, I, I think I remember. Uh, playing as Linfei. So we should have the upper hand here. Linfei has a low win rate, but Blue Ice is a really good player. So we'll see how it goes. Fun fact, Taros actually has like second highest win rate right now in Brahala. So very uh, winning legend. All right, so far I haven't even really touched him. There we go. The good thing is uh, he has to hit us way more than we have to hit him. You know what I mean? Oh, Litve, watch out for that neutral sig. <laughs> I was getting my butt kicked. It only takes one neutral sig, man. That's why everybody loves Taros. He don't play by the rules. My hammer game has been uh, honestly a weakness of mine for a long time, so I don't want to rely too much on the axe. Oh, wow, I didn't have a jump. I guess I should have dodged. I probably could have got back to stage. That's okay. That's okay. We're still doing just fine here. Oh my goodness, those guitars are so fast though. 
Oh, get back up on stage. I'm not done with you, Linfei. Oh, good thing she did that recovery, because I was about to destroy. Oh, no, the side sig of doom. I was expecting that move, Linfei. Boom. No weapon needed. Get off of my stage. The only reason I don't play Taros that much is because I just like some other legends a little bit better, but uh, just for my personal play style, you know, as, if I was like picking to win for sure, Taros is definitely a good choice. Oh, that was a nice... Ouch! Oh, man. Bro, this guy is playing very, very calculated. I have to be careful. But at the same time, we do have a nice lead going on, so. Oh, that would have been a nice little finisher. Hold that blue ice. No, they got me with the fireball. Oh, man. Lin Fei actually has one of the lowest win rates, like I said, but it's only because she lacks a little bit of power. Like, GG, dude, GG. He played really well. Um, like, let, let's just look real quick at Lin Fei's stats. She only has three strength, and if you use strength stance, she has four. So it's just a little bit hard to get KOs with her, but otherwise, she's a really good legend. All right, let's keep going with Taros. Uh, should go Mecha. No, I'm going to say Mecha Taros because that, that's part of my Mecha squad, you know what I mean? Let's do... Yeti Taros? This one's actually a pretty rare skin. You can only get this skin if you buy a Brawlhalla t-shirt. That's right. You have to literally buy a real t-shirt and then you get this uh, code for the Yeti Taros on a little piece of paper that comes attached to the t-shirt. <laughs> uh, I've actually bought a, a several uh, Brawlhalla t-shirts and I always give away the extra codes. Speaking of giving away extra codes, be sure to watch to the end because I'm going to be dropping codes for free items in Brahalla in the comments after the video premiere, as always. Fun fact, uh, Queen Nye actually has one of the highest win rates in Brahalla, so even higher than Taros. But I think it's just because a lot of uh, like low rank players do well, but honestly, in the high ranks, you don't see Queen Nye too often, but this guy obviously knows how to play, my goodness. Those websites that have like uh, win rates and all that, that's just uh, just for a little bit of like knowledge. It doesn't really mean that you can't win or lose with whatever legend, you know what I mean? Where are you going? Oh, bye bye. Hep, no, you wait, you're still alive? Stop it, stop it. Oh man. Yeti Taros is a cool skin though. I rarely see it, so. Ouch. Hey, uh. Hey, Queen Nah, I'm still alive. Okay. Never mind. I, w I was going to say, like, Queen Nye, Katar down sig, and my Axe down sig are almost the same move. They both hit both sides, which is nice. Uh-oh. What? Okay, that's a homie stock. That's a homie stock. She accidentally did that. We're going to go to final stocks, baby. Hopefully I can do something here. Come on, Taros. Oh, nice snake bite. What? What's happening? Oh, baby. Boom. Oh. One good hit from either one of us, really. Oh, man. I threw away my axe. Don't think that was smart. No! Wait, what? The neutral sig of doom! Oh my goodness. Goodness. Wow. GG, dude. GG. That's a good niche. <laughs> good. All right. Uh, we're going to do at least one more, one or two more games. Let's do Forge Heart Taros. This skin looks incredible in different colors. But for some reason, I really like it in black. Uh, let's see. Is there a better looking color on this? Oh, eSports version 2. It actually looks like black colors, but even more red. So 
Let's do that one. That one looks amazing. And yes, I do use speed stance on Taros just because I prefer faster moving legends. It does take away from his dexterity, so he only has like two or three decks. But as you can see, two or three decks don't really matter that much. As long as you don't miss too many attacks. If you miss, it does leave you open a little bit. All right, we're going against Rito. Rito's a tricky legend, very tricky. He's got orb and blasters. He's got really good signatures, so we're going to have to be careful going against the good Rito player over here. Yeah, 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 Rito. I know how you like to play with those blasters. Okay, dude's movement is really clean. Okay, so far I'm losing the damage battle. He's very patient to wait for me to land. I should have done a ground pound. I probably would have actually had a better play there. Oh, what a counter to the neutral sig. Pay attention, boys. That's how it's done. <laughs> he finally got me to go into that one. Close, close. Bro, what are you doing? He's playing so strange and it cost him the first stock. Beautiful hit, but I'm still alive. Look at all that damage that weird down say cost you, Rito. I fight unarmed all day if I have to. Oh, that still didn't kill me. Taro's too much defense, baby. Wait, are you even alive, bro? He is, he's just playing like super passive or something. <laughs> oh, baby, Taros, the dark side of Brahala. No, oh, he finally got me with the whip. I actually love that blaster skin he's using. Is he, or I mean the orb skin. The blaster skin's okay. That's the uh, the flares. That's like from a summer. Uh, I forget what is that the Diana skin or something what are the swimsuit skins haha <laughs> boom what how did I not hit yeah you got coming back on stage bye bye GG all right, guys, let's do one more game with Taros. It's been a really fun video, so let's do at least one more game with Taros, and then I'm not going to play Taros again for a long time. You know what I mean? Because he is the dark side of Brahala. Let's do Roman Reigns. This is a WWE epic crossover event skin. And uh, let's do Lucky Clover. We're still in the uh, Luck of the Brawl event, right? I don't know. I think we are. So last game with Taros. This one has unique looking signature graphics, as you can see. Really cool looking as well. Boom, boom. Ooh, we're going against Aurora Brynn. Very beautiful skin. This is going to be a tough match. I don't remember if I played Sakwuki before, but uh, here we go. Roman Raids Taros. This is a great skin. Look at this guy. He's got so much honor and respect. It's gonna be one of those games, baby. I love the way that, that move looks, though. That neutral sig. Bro! It's so good! It's so good, guys. Taros is just ridiculous. Ow, how dare you punch me! Ooh, that was good. Oh my! What? I'm still alive, baby. 
I don't know about you though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Like I beat players that I should not beat because Taros is just that good. Watch the neutral sig. Ow, that was close. There's the neutral sig. I knew she'd go try to throw that one out. Ouch. Ooh, I'm still alive. Could this be a three stock? I think so. Yep, the spot dodge killer, bro. GG, dude, GG. Well played, well played. I think I literally got all three stocks with a neutral stick on <laughs> And that would just be how it is with Taros. Oh my goodness. Let me know in the comments what you guys... Where, where, where are you at on Taros? Do you love him? Do you hate him? I feel like there's no in-between. Uh, I tend to try to stay neutral, you know, to every legend. And he's one of those legends that I like playing, but I don't like playing against. You know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think. As always, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content because I'm always putting it out there. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments who you'd like me to play next. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.